In this Excel video, I will show you how to use a formula to calculate the second, third, fourth, fifth highest of a range of numbers. And you can also do the same thing with the lowest, second lowest, third lowest, etc. Let's get started. So here I have a list of fictional students with some made up test scores and I would like Excel to figure out the highest score and the second and third highest score as well as the lowest three scores. And many Excel users already know how to find the highest number. Generally what you would do is you would use the max function to find the maximum or highest number in a range of cells and I've already done that here. But in this video, I want to focus on how to find the second highest and third highest. It doesn't seem like the max function is what we want when searching for the second and third highest, etc. So let me show you what to use instead. I'm going to click here on cell C4 and I'll type equals. And instead of max, I'm going to type large, the large function. Left parenthesis. Next, Excel is expecting an array. An array is just a range of cells. So I could just click and drag on the test scores. So H2 through H21. And I'll release the mouse button. And because this data is in a table, you'll notice that Excel puts in the table and the column title. If this weren't a table, it would just show the range. It would literally say H2 colon H21 with the colon meaning through. So H2 through H21 but I do have it in a table, so it's got the table name and the column name. Next, I'll put in a comma, and here Excel is expecting K. What does that mean? Basically, what rank am I looking for? Rank number two, three, four, five, what is it that I'm looking for? In this case, I'm looking for the second highest, so I'll put two. I should put in my right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard, and the second highest score is produced in cell C4. Let's check to see if that's right. Did someone get a score of 99? Yes. So that is the second highest score. Now let's calculate the third highest. I click on C5 equals large left parenthesis. This time, instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just going to type in the cell references. So H2 through, which is indicated by putting in a colon, H21 comma. Now the K, what is the rank that I'm looking for? Three the third highest. Right parenthesis, tap enter, and the third highest score according to this is 95. It looks like that is correct. Now let's try it with the lowest scores. For the very lowest score, I've already used the min function, which is basically the opposite of the max function. Again, if you don't already know how to use the min function, please watch my other Excel functions tutorials. But here, I'm gonna figure out the second and third lowest scores. So here on cell K4, I'll type equals, and I'll type small, left parenthesis, what's the array? Well, it's that same exact array, but this time, instead of clicking and dragging or typing the cell reference, I'm just gonna click on column H. This selects the entire column, and look, it automatically puts in H colon H. I'll put in my comma. Now, what do I put for the K, for the rank? I'll put in the number two for the second lowest, I should put in my right parenthesis, but you know what? In this case, you don't really have to. So I'll tap enter on the keyboard. The second lowest score, according to Excel, is 61. Let's do the same thing with third lowest equals small, left parenthesis, my array. Again, I'll just click on H. In some ways, it's the fastest way. I'll put in my comma, and I want this to be the third lowest score. Tap enter, and there we go. Now it is possible that you'll have two numbers that are the same. What if Carissa here also got 99%? If I tap enter on the keyboard, you'll see that both of the scores of 99 are counted here. So they tie for second place, but they both take up a rank, second and third. I think that's good. It's also important to realize that instead of using max and min, I could have used large and small. So here on cell C3, I'm gonna go up to the formula bar and I'm just gonna erase what's there and replace it with equals large, left parenthesis, I'll select my column H, comma, and one. Tap enter on the keyboard and I get the same results, 100, but this time I've used the large function instead of the max function. We can do the same thing with min. I'll just switch it to small and I'll click here inside my formula. After the range, I'll put in a comma and a number one and tap enter. So I've converted 
the max and min formulas into large and small formulas. In some ways, large and small are more useful than max and min, but it's important to be aware of all four of those functions. And please keep in mind that large and small work for much more than second and third. I could create a formula here that says equals large, left parenthesis, select column H, comma, and I want the 18th score. Tap enter, it's 64. And this could go as high as I need it to, let's say 108. Now I don't have 108 students in this list. When I tap enter, look what happens. There is no 108th highest score in this range, so the formula produces an error message. But if I did have enough students and data in this spreadsheet, it would produce the 108th highest score. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I've got to say a big thank you to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel so that I can continue to make these Excel tutorials and many other educational videos. Thank you.